Okay. So I'm gonna give this a few minutes so people can get on. Uh, we're gonna talk about cooking and budgeting and why I wanna help. Um, why I wanna help with uh, families who are struggling to f cook and moms who are trying to uh, get dinner on the table and on a budget because that's a, that's a big deal too. Sorry, Frank Sinatra's a little loud. Let me turn him down a minute. But um, lately, I have been running into a lot of women and friends who are telling me that they don't know how to cook and that they wish they could cook like I do and that they don't know how to budget and finance for cooking. Um, a lot of the cooking I do because it's just Josiah and I right now. Um, hi, Megan. Um, because it's just us right now, I do a lot of cooking at night. But I also, every now and then, I just kind of feel like cooking a breakfast or I'll cook lunch for myself or something but um, I do I do cook a lot a lot and I have a lot of friends and of course my family have had my cooking and it's just something that's always kind of been a passion of mine so anything I can do to help um, people cook and uh, learn about it and everything there's just a lot that uh, I've been asked lately like how do you do this how do you do that I don't know how to bake I don't know how to you know it's just a lot of I don't know how to's so I just want to be able to help do whatever I can in the kitchen I've even gone to friends houses hey Sarah it's good to see all of y'all on here hey mama Thanks, Mom. My mom likes my cooking. I've made numerous steaks for her on the grill. That's another thing. I've got really good, like, marinade recipes for the grill. So, y'all forgive my eyeshadow. It is not blended. I'm just looking at it like, holy crap, I've not made myself happy with my eyeshadow. But, um, <clears throat> aw, Sarah, tell them I'm waving back. Hi to Sarah's girls. But, um, yeah, I've got, like, recipe after recipe, you know, and I've got friends from other countries that they say, you know, I know how to make food from my country, but I want to know how to make American food. Well, I can teach you southern cooking. I can teach you hacks and tips and budgeting. <laughs> Tell Mark I said hello, too. And, um, yes, I my mom uh, just commented and said that I've been working in restaurants since I was 14, and that's that's about right. I have. I uh, The first restaurant I ever worked in was at a um, little restaurant in DeRitter, Louisiana called Fosto's Chicken and Seafood. And so I learned a lot on fried chicken and seafood and stuff there. And then, of course, just living in South Louisiana, you kind of learn, um, you kind of learn how to uh, make things and you learn Cajun recipes and uh, you know, that's good too. A lot of people out here are like, you're from Louisiana? Not necessarily. I've just spent a lot of time in Louisiana. I was uh, born in Arkansas, raised mostly in Texas and in Louisiana. But um, anything I can do to help uh, with budgeting for groceries, you know, Josiah, he gets paid every other week. I only work part-time right now. But I get paid every week, so we're able to budget through that. And that's what I like to try to do is budget. Budget and low-key just cheap shopping. Miss Rhonda, you're correct. Not a lot of people cook anymore, and they don't know how. But they need to know how. It's important for men and women to know how to cook, you know. And it's okay to start teaching your children how to cook, too. Love you too, Sarah. I'm glad y'all made it to Alabama safely. Some friends of mine just moved from Fairfield to uh, just moved from Fairfield to Alabama, and so I'm glad to know they made it safe. Hi, Crystal. Crystal's from uh, Lafayette. I used to work with her at Super One on Ambassador Caffrey there in Lafayette. And uh, <laughs> hey, Christian. Hey, Tolly. Love you guys. I know y'all just a few doors down, but uh, anytime, y'all need to know anything else about cooking, because I know we've had this discussion, Tolly and I. Um, 
<clears throat> you know, just, I, I, I like being able to, uh, to, uh, help people with, with that. And, uh, Sarah, I, it's not a recipe right now, but what I'm going to do to reach people is, um, I'm going to make a like page and I'm going to invite everybody to like this page and anybody that you know that wants to join the page so that way they can see me when I cook live, you know, because I'll show y'all how I am, um, <clears throat> how I cook fried chicken at home since I don't have a deep fryer. And, um, I, uh, you know, I just want to be able to show y'all how y'all can do that if you have a cast iron skillet. Um, there are certain ways to take care of your cast iron skillet. I can tell you that. My mother-in-law, who is like the bomb, love her to death, she told me and taught me how to uh, season a cast iron skillet. So not long after Josiah and I got married, so because of her, I know how to do that. So one thing that we'll be able to do is um, switch recipes. We can switch recipes if you know a few. Um, feel free to like say you know hey I have this recipe for this cake or for this you know so it's not just for those who don't know how to cook but even if you do know how to make like just minimal things feel free to just jump in anytime and say hey I have a recipe for this and I'll even be glad to try your recipe y'all I have lasagna recipes I've got um, recipes for like smothered meats to go over rice and, you know, rice is one of those things that I've learned that you can get, and it just helps make things so much easier and so much cheaper to cook with, but not all the time. I do use a lot of vegetables, too, and a lot of fruit. Hey, Shakir! Long time, buddy. Long time. Crystal, I love and miss you, too, hey? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm really glad that you're all getting on here and, uh... You know, saying, hey, I love it when y'all comment and talk to me. And um, I really hope that whenever I start doing these live cooking videos. And uh, I love you too, Megan. You're so sweet. Cousin Chris. Y'all, I just met Chris at our family reunion in Arkansas this uh, Memorial Weekend. And he's got some pipes, y'all. He's a lot of fun. Shakira, any recipes you want to share, man, go right ahead. I'll try them. Um, but, yeah, it does does anybody have any questions right now on, like, budgeting or, uh, you know, how I how I cook? Because, I mean, I, I cook a lot, guys. I do. And, uh, and it's not very common for people in my generation right now to know how to cook. And it kind of shocks me a little bit because, I mean, I've been boiling water since I was little, you know. And I used to, uh, I used to cook with my Aunt Beth when she was alive. I'd go to her house and I'd cook with her and she'd help me with pancakes or cookies or, you know, small stuff like that she'd help me with. And then uh, getting a little older, watching my mom and then... You know, as I grew and started learning how to read and follow directions, you know, doing box products. Like, uh, I remember the first time I made dirty rice. I was probably nine or ten, and my parents weren't at home. <clears throat> we lived in Crowville, Louisiana at the time. And, um, and, uh, the house that we were in, girl, yeah. I can help you budget for like snacks and stuff like while they're home from the summer too. That's another thing. I can help I can help you guys budget lunches and dinners and snacks for your children while they're home from school during the summer too. I you know, this is just something I'm passionate about. I love to cook. You know, I, I, I do a lot of cooking and I've got a lot of hacks and things. If you've got a crock pot, trust me, crock pot meals I've got you. Because I want to try something for you, my boyfriend. Okay, Megan. Um, one thing that I will be doing, uh, starting, I'll probably start doing this Monday. And uh, first, I gotta get my work schedule because, like I said, I work part time. Um, I just need to know uh, what, like, what my schedule is 
as I start uh, doing these videos because some videos will be in the morning some will be in the evening and some will be at night um, some videos won't be just cooking some will be budgeting and then um, you know just answering different questions you may have on those type of things so if you've got children and they're home from school for the summer and you need to know how to budget and set up for snacks for them I'm telling you uh, we have a Costco card. I know not everybody could probably afford Costco, but um, we've got a Costco card that I do all our grocery shopping with because I'll take like frozen vegetables because I love vegetables. Josiah's learned to love them too. But uh, I'll take vegetables and um, like the big bulk frozen vegetable bags. And I'll divide them up into how I want to use them for meals in Ziploc bags. Ziploc bags have been my friend. Let me tell you. Ziploc bags I have not been able to survive without <laughs> in doing this. But um, anything that I cook, anything that I do or say, I'm going to save all my videos. So you can always go back, you can always look at the videos, and always feel free to message me and say, hey, I have a question. You know, if you have a question about cooking something, if you have a question about like a marinade, or if you have questions on omelets, my omelets don't always turn out perfect, but they do turn out delicious, okay? Um, just if you have any questions on like spices or how to like, change something up if you cook like the same thing all the time and you want to change it up somehow i'm good at changing up recipes um like last night i had some um some thin skirt steak and i'll tell you how i made this i wish i would have thought to do this last night because it was so good even josiah was like oh my god this is amazing but um rice cookers come in handy this recipe can also be done in a in a uh, slow cooker, crock pot, but I did it on the stove. What I did is I took a skirt steak, it was big, it's from Costco, mm -hmm. took a skirt steak and I just cut it into strips and then um, I put them in my pan with some butter, salt, pepper, Cajun seasoning, Tony Cetri's. Um I also used like garlic powder and onion powder a lot. I can't live without it. Um, I did all that. Let's see. What's going on here? Alright, Chris. You be careful out there, buddy. Enjoy your new home. Okay, Megan. Have fun with your boyfriend. Y'all have a good time, okay? But, uh, the recipe I made last night and you could do this with most any vegetable that you like. Like I said, I took my skirt steak, I cut it up, I seasoned it, and I cooked it in a little bit of butter. I don't use a lot of butter, but I cooked it up in some butter, because what's life without butter? Um, I cooked it up in a little bit of butter, and I took some mushrooms, and I cut up some mushrooms, and some uh, sweet uh, chili peppers. Well, not chili peppers. They look like chili peppers, but they're little sweet peppers, you know, little ones like that. They're like orange, yellow, and uh, red. Well, um, I took those and I cut them up, wash them, of course. I wash all my vegetables and all my fruits. So I cut those up, threw that in there. Um, I also like to take onion a lot of the time, even though I didn't have any onion last night. Chop that up too, throw that in there. Um, and then I'll take mixed vegetables, like, um, broccoli and uh, cauliflower. I have a broccoli, cauliflower, and um, carrot mix that also has yellow carrot slices in it. I don't care for regular carrots, orange carrots. You know, I don't, I don't eat cooked carrots, but I have recipes for cooked carrots if y'all ever need some, but um, I just don't like the texture of a cooked carrot. But uh, that's what I put in with my meat last night, and I just let it simmer for a little while until he got home because he gets home late. And then I took some rice, and I seasoned the rice with, like, salt and uh, Tony Sachery's, and I put that in my rice cooker. You know, and it makes, like, an easy meal, but it was also a cheap meal. And the reason it was cheap is because when I bought the meat, I divided up the meat. Like, 
I go, I can go and do this at Walmart too. You know, like if you, it, it just depends on where you prefer to shop. You can go to the store and you can, um, you can go to the store and you can find however much meat you need and divide it up into meals. You know, I can do this for larger families. I come from a large family. Hi, it's your boy Fruit Snacks. Oh Lord, Nathan. My little brother decides he's Fruit Snacks. That's what he decided his nickname is. But um, I'm gonna start doing this and see who I can help. For those of you that live on the Christ for the Nations campus, um, if you ever have a question you want me to come over and help you cook, I've done this a couple times already, I'd be more than willing to come over and help you cook something. But um, I will give y'all more detail on uh, on uh, what's going on, and I will uh, be more than willing to help y'all with any questions. Like I said, questions. Ask, ask, ask. You never know unless you ask, and I'm more than willing to help answer them. So, if uh, if y'all want to, uh, if y'all want to, oh gosh, what did I do there? There we go. So if y'all want to uh, message me, you know, feel free. I'm going to make a like page so I can do this on my page. Um, you know, I'll send y'all out an invite to like my cooking page and we'll uh, get together and cook something, you know. So just remember budgeting, cooking, so easy to do even when your income is a little tight. Josiah and I know what it's like to have a tight income to the point where you're like, okay, how am I going to budget for groceries? But um, I find a way, and I do it. And I just want to help everyone else that needs to uh, budget for groceries and cook and everything. I just want to be able to show you how to do it. So uh, tomorrow at some point, I'll probably uh, show you all my freezer and my refrigerator and show you all how I have things set up so that way I can... Uh, and uh, that way I can uh, show y'all how I budget meals and how I divide everything in meal plans. Uh, you'll probably laugh because I do have dinosaur-shaped chi chicken nuggets in my freezer. It's because I like dinosaur-shaped nuggets. Yeah, dinosaur-shaped nuggets. Anyway, so I do have some healthy stuff and some not-so-healthy stuff, too. I mean, come on. But uh, give me a holler anytime, guys. I'd be more than willing to help you. I love to cook. So, you know, I, uh, I'll i send you the link to my uh, to my page here in a little bit after I get it made. And let's cook together. All right? Y'all have a good evening.